Welcome back to Brazen Brits. We're back for another collaboration. I think this is number four. Yes. <laughs> okay, so don't forget, uh, we're doing a collaboration with all other channels that we all RV very differently. So we have different opinions, different things. We did actually discuss this one a bit differently. Otherwise, we'd all have the same stuff. Mm -hmm. So hopefully this is going to be interesting. But ours is quite personal to us um, with examples and things. So check out all the channels below. Obviously watch this first and like and subscribe and all the things. Uh, and uh, yeah, so let's run the intro and then we'll run through our quick list. It really makes me wonder. Yeah, it makes me wonder. Yeah. Oh, I wonder. Oh, I just wonder. Alright, so this is our list of a couple of things of the do's and don'ts for camping, RVing, anything like that. Etiquette. Etiquette, I guess it is, yeah. So, alright, so <laughs> the first one, which really happened to us. So, here's the deal. I, we were camping somewhere, we had a lovely old couple next to us. Um, we'd spoken to them a couple of times. I started work for the day in the back of the rig in, in the uh, in the bunkhouse here, working along, and I started hearing this really strange noises coming from the campground next door, and it was like a cha-ching, ka-ching, ka-ching, something like that. Anyway, so tonight I said, what's going on? Anyway, we figured out that the lovely lady had linked her phone to the outdoor speakers, <laughs> and so all day long they sat outside playing Candy Crush and watching <laughs> TikToks and things. It was really loud. Yeah. So, um, so yes, no, we're we're cool with playing be, music. Be aware, <laughs> just... and I think a lot of people don't realise, like when we walk around in the evenings, that they're watching TV and it's blaring yeah. away outside. Well, we've done that. We, we have, have done, done that. that. We've so had our outdoor speakers. Accidents happen, but just check that <laughs> so it's not connected to your outside speakers. <laughs> One time we were watching Star Wars or something and the rest of the campground had to listen to it. No one told us. We were about an hour in before we actually realised, so sorry about that. So we're just as guilty. We are. All right, Natalie. Well, the next one is, you know, pet-based again. Um, I know a couple of the other channels have talked about picking up poop. That's an obvious one. There's nothing worse. That happened to me yesterday. I went to take stuff to the, the dumpster, stepped in some dog poop, and I'm like, really? You know. But there's some other little things that um, maybe you didn't think about or don't don't so realize is do be a good pet owner really There's do be a good pet owner just yeah being respectful of other people's campsites don't let your dog we've had people like walk past on the on the long lines and they pee on our truck and i'm like why why would you let your dog do that that's kind of weird there's plenty of trees around um but there was another case recently i, I saw on another channel where they pulled up to a site and someone had obviously groomed their dogs and just left the clumps of hair on the on the on the floor which you know i get it you want to give the hair to the birds and stuff you don't you know there's no point in trashing that that's great nesting material we'll put it in a bush or something don't just leave it on the grass you know for someone that perhaps doesn't have dogs and doesn't want that kind of stuff on the floor so and i think the biggest one for us um which we actually had someone recently do this but um is just keep your dogs on leash um, oh yeah that happens a lot of resorts people just seem to open the door let their dogs run out go do their business yeah. or whatever and it's like uh well it's fine and but there was one example and this was about a year or two ago um someone had let their dog off, off leash and it was just roaming around and this there was a lady who had her dog who was obviously probably dog aggressive um she had it do you remember this it was tied to her chair oh yeah and the uh, the dog off leash went running up to this dog so this dog just went straight for it and he snapped her chair out. this poor lady she wasn't a young lady either and she the whole chair just collapsed she went flying so um if that other dog was walking past it would have been fine but because it was off leash it just caused all kinds of problems I do want to tag on here, and I won't talk too much about dog stuff but another problem we had recently was whenever the owner left the dog barked constantly yep. non-stop and you know we're not morning people so from 7 a.m <laughs> it was just like it didn't they went stop. out all day and bless them they might not have known so you know we were in the position we're like well do we just put a note on the door to let them know i mean yeah we not have... to complain about it just to let them know because we test um op and uh yeah Jax. we got the, the ring cameras in yep. the rig so that we can check in and be like are, are they okay yeah, just make sure just make sure they're not on. barking and not annoying the neighbors yeah. you know and... we're fine with these two actually when we had Roxy and our previous dogs they used to bark more so we were always very conscious about it with Roxy but if you think your dogs are barkers just don't leave them in the rig all day you need to find a solution yeah that's what we would suggest <laughs> all right um okay something else happened recently literally <laughs> days ago days ago we were camping and this is a do respect um the quiet times now 
we love having a drink we yeah. love hanging out with friends outside the rig uh, most quiet times are around about 10 or 11 that's fine we can we can go on for hours more than that but we yeah. don't and we're respectful so either keep your voice down or go and move inside the rig the example we had recently was 3 30 in the morning until about 4 15 they were singing dancing shouting <laughs> and uh, it was like even it woke me up i was asleep in it, and i will sleep through anything but this stuff was so loud so you know i, I get it we love to have a good time as well yeah, but we do. dude like just, for, just take it into the room shouting after, at after midnight in the morning, or so yeah, you know yeah it's too much all right and oh, this is a good one for you. I'm going to move around to the rig. Hold on. This is the last one. Last do's or don'ts of RV camping, and I'm going to put this in there to help you guys, is do, 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 do not there. forget your water splitter if you use one. Now, honestly, I've done this so many times. I've bought a multi-pack because I do it every single time and then we have to go and buy one. So on Amazon Prime Day, I bought a whole bunch of them because I keep leaving them. We've got it on a checklist. Natalie reminds me all the time. There's one time she reminded me to go and get the splitter and I still forgot it. <laughs> so anyway, do forget, do forget, do remember all of your equipment. Um, this is my arch nemesis of, of RV camping. I forget them every time. All right, thank you for watching. No, I'm not letting you in there. Why? Because I want to go ahead and say, you're all, probably all sat there going, why haven't they mentioned the obvious people walking through campsites or you know people loading up late well that's what the collaboration is for and we didn't all want to do the exact same no. thing so you have because to go and watch other people's and yep. see what they said <laughs> you're right you're right and yeah there are some obvious ones but there are some cool things that uh, the other channels have said are unique to I them know they're saying that are unique and i'm jealous and i wanted to put them on ours but the stuff that we've learned from this so hopefully you will learn that too so check out all the channels below um yeah apart from that uh, we'll put the playlist up here yep. uh, so click on the playlist so you can go straight there and see their videos don't forget to subscribe and join if you would like to become a brazier and support a couple of tits that makes you a member of our channel uh, and that's it see you next month I we'll guess, see you next month for our next collaboration <laughs> looks like I'm wearing a little hat <laughs> <laughs>